Okay, the important properties on our population, you know, right here we have a density layer and we also have an object to sit on. So let's look first on the density. This way we can actually specify how dense population in specific area. And look on this, let's go to draw. So we're going to create our paint shader. So we'll go to start painting, create new paint shader right here. You can see our brush is a little bit too big, so I'm going to reduce. Now let's go back smaller brush right here. Okay, there you go. And with this brush settings, I can actually start painting. Maybe somewhere around here. Okay, right there. You can see where the light going. Now let's paint maybe a little bit around this area as well. Okay, when we finish painting, Okay, let's go to uh, click and right now stop painting. And there's our painting shader. So we can go and connect to the density shader. And we'll go to populate now. Notice right now it's populating only in an area where the density shader applied. And of course, depend on how dense is edges. You can see it's a little bit more dissolving. Nice with the end. And I prefer actually painting shader a little bit more than just a placement because how we can add the end. So in this case, you can take a tree and painting them directly on the object. Notice we also have it, our terrain shader is connected. So it's meaning it will place on the normals of our terrain. So if we're painting on the mountains, it will place them as well on the edge of the mountains. However, here's the other thing. So if, for example, I'm going and I'm going to the object, Let's go to create um, object. We'll go to create the sphere as example. Okay, right here is our sphere. Okay, now let's place this sphere maybe zero zero zero. Okay, and radius fifty. Okay, so right here is our maybe you know a little bit bigger. Let's go put it one hundred. Okay. So you can see right here we have our um, sphere. Now let's maybe move this sphere to um, minus 100. Minus 100. So somewhere around this area. Okay, and now if we take this sphere and notice if I go and connect to the object to see it on, okay, we'll go now to our population. Populate. Notice where it's populating. It's populating in an area where it was painting as a density, but it's also populating only in an object that is sitting on. So it is affecting its add one to another. Okay, as well, if we go look closer, okay, let's go to zoom in a little bit to our right here. And as we're populating to on our, our object, you notice our instance still kind of going vertically off some to these adjustments if we need adjustments let's look as we look on object to our other properties so what we have it. you'll notice in our distribution properties we have it center location we already look on this one rotation if we need rotation all also link area currently it's a thousand by thousand meters we also spacing so decreasing spacing, it's a decreasing spacing between um, instance. And you can see that now a little bit more heavy populated together. Okay, we also have variations um, in populations as well. Our density shaders is painting, it's what we applied to this one. Um, also we have it here properties to populate every frame clip. This is more for the animations and in some tutorials I'll show you how we can use this to create some animations on the grass or other areas. Okay, so also we have it our anchors and currently you can notice right here seat on terrain is disabled as we collect connecting. The seat on object is so in this case we only populate on our object and ignore normals of the terrain. Okay, and free floating is um, disabled, but we can enable this, and it's work very well if you want. Maybe some particles be in a, uh, like maybe rain, snowflakes, or clouds. If you want to do some other populations around there. Okay, 
So our scales, it's a minimum one to one. So if you want to add a little bit more diversity in your populations, you always can say from smaller to maybe bigger. And you can notice how some get smaller sizes and some increase the size of population. So that is additional options to help you create this diversity in populations. Okay, we also have rotations right here, important options, this lean terrain. So you notice right here how they're all vertically going up. By enable lean, we'll make those plans to calculate with the normals of our, for example, um, the sphere. And you can see how they start leaning a little bit over. Of course, the leaning it will affect by the effect of the leaning. Um, degree ways lean 45. So if we're going right here 45, the leaning does not apply. And I reduce leaning by 90 degrees. So if I take this two all the way down, you'll notice we have it very going perpendicular. So let's go ahead, increase effect. And there you go. We're going within our normals directly. So this is some effect you may use it for um, render, but for the natural, you probably want to actually default values will work very well for this. So yeah, we'll go to just don't lean with about 45 whatever, and reduce leaning about from 90. So and this one work very well if you want to create kind of a lean on the edges on the mountains. And I will recommend to use this lean when you place your objects on the terrain on the mountains, it will create kind of nice, more natural look. And definitely if you have it edge by the lake with the grass, lean will go very nice on this rough edge on the lake to creating kind of naturally um, look this way. So okay, lean, we also spoke about some uh, tint for the color. So if you want to apply it, multiplies and uh, a distribution seed. So this is, we can just change and you notice right here, we also have an options to animate this. And we already look on some of the editing properties in this case. Okay, so right here, this is a um, simple tutorial. Look over uh, some of the plans. And we'll do some of this in our animations tutorials to see how we can work a little bit more with populations and creating nice um, effect. So right here, I notice you see how it's orange boxes. So probably we can go inside our populations, editing, and right here we're still editing. So I want to stop editing. So in this case, yeah, no orange boxes. So be sure you do that. It will also help um, avoid some mistakes of moving or also reduce some of this um, render delay. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekplay.com.